Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are finding unit rate from a graph. Let's have some fun together while we find that unit rate. Today we will make a graph, read a graph, and then use the graph to calculate our unit rate. Let's get started. In our first question, we have finding the unit rate of walking. You can see we have the number of hours on the left and the miles walked on the right. We can use this information to make a graph. And it would look kind of like this. Miles walked would be our vertical axis or our y axis. The hours would be along here on the bottom. And we would graph these points. We are given that in two hours you would walk one mile. So I could put that point on there, two hours you would walk one mile. In four hours you would walk two miles. In six hours you would walk three miles. And in eight hours you would walk four miles. This is a person walking. We can go ahead and graph this as you see there. So this is our graph of how far we're going to walk or, or the rate at which we are walking as this person makes his way across here. Now the challenge is that to find the unit rate, we need to find the number of miles that they walk in a single hour. That's what unit rate means. Unit rate is miles per one hour. So on all of these graphs, what we're going to do to find the unit rate is if we can look at the value of one here on our horizontal axis and go follow that up until it meets our graph, that would show us our unit rate. Unfortunately, with this example, you can't really see where exactly that fits. Also, if it was in our table, that would also make it easy. But again, in the table, we were never given how many miles were walked in a single hour. This means that we need to make a calculation. And we can calculate without just guessing. Let me show you how. To calculate, we pick any point on the graph. I'm going to pick this point. Watch, it'll flash. It's the point right there. See it at the point 4, 2. Also change the circumference of it to being red to try and emphasize which point I'm using right there. And now I'm going to divide. When you divide, you divide your y value or the, the number along the vertical axis divided by the x value or the number along the horizontal axis. It would look like this. 2 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.5. Now you might say, hold on a second, um, you can't just pick that value and have it be the unit rate automatically, but you actually can. You can pick any point along the line, and I'll show you using all the other points that we have graphed. The point 2, 1 would be 1 divided by 2, which is 0.5. The point 6, 3 is 3 divided by 6, which is 0 0.5, and the point 8, 4 would also be 4 divided by 8, which is 0 0.5. It is a constant rate. Stop. Hold on. This sounds very, very familiar. This whole unit rate, constant rate. And that's because it is. The unit rate is a constant, and in this case, it is the constant in proportional relationships. It is the constant. Unit rate and constant are the same. And also, spoiler warning, it's the rate at which the graph increases or decreases, and that in the future we will call slope. So let's take a look at finding our unit rate because this is going to be a useful skill in the future. You can use um, for this practice question, you can find the unit rate using any method you want from anything that we've talked about. Pause the video, try to find the unit rate given the table and the graph that you have there. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back. In this case, finding the unit rate in method number one that we talked about briefly would be pretty quick because it's given both in the table and in the graph you are told with one minute 
how many toys you could make. The rate is three toys per minute. It's a single rate, or it's a rate for one thing, or one minute, so that is your unit rate. The other method you could have used was to use division, where we could have taken 3 divided by 1, which is equal to 3. Again, our unit rate of 3 toys per minute. And that unit rate will be constant for every point. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 is our constant, or unit rate, or spoiler warning, dum dum dum, it is also the slope of this line. Time for another one. I want you to find the unit rate of how many goals could be sc are scored per game given this graph that you have here. 3, 2, 1, go for it. Welcome back. How many goals can be scored? Method number one is not so helpful. It's not listed in the table, and looking at the graph, you can't see an exact point at which the unit rate would be one game. How many goals per game? So we're going to use method number two, where we divide our y value, or the vertical axis, divided by our x value, the horizontal. So goals divided by games. 3 divided by 2, which gives us 1.5. We can also use our second point, 6 divided by 4, which also gives us 1.5. 1.5 is our constant, or the rate per game, the unit rate. You can see that this person would score, kabam, 1.5 goals per game. As a quick recap, the unit rate is a constant. It's calculated using the constant equation. Our unit rate is y divided by x. And our denominator should always be equal to 1. I hope that that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.